And the answers are that if heritability had been lower, the genome-wide association study is likely to have found fewer genes, and the effects that it's found are likely to be weaker. And that's because the genetic causes of the differences between our two populations have been kind of diluted by environmental effects and chance effects that have also contributed to the phenotypic differences we're studying. So what we've done, we've talked about how you can use genome-wide association studies of SNPs to find the loci that affect a phenotype. We're finding places in the genome, locations on the chromosome, where sequence differences affect the phenotype. We're not necessarily finding the causal sequence differences. We're just finding the place where we would look for the causal sequence differences. Now, coming up next, we're going to go back to thinking about the results of genome-wide association studies for genes that cause differences in height, and we're going to encounter a very interesting, perplexing problem called the missing heritability mystery. I hope to see you there.